Hey, this stuff is terrific. It's sweet and delicious. What's Ralphie doing? According to my research, every bee has a proboscis. It's kind of like a tongue that they use to gather food and share with one another. Yum! What is it? Where'd they get it? Hey! I bet it's flower nectar. Remember back when we went inside the flower in Mr. Seaplot's garden? And we saw the bees drinking up all the nectar? They moved the water fountain and now the space fort is too small. Are you sure? Yeah, I just came from there. I'd have to chop one of my animals in half to make it fit. <sighs> I guess I have to start from scratch. Let's double check and measure your canvas. One side is five feet. And the other side is five feet. So it's a perfect square. Proboscis? Mm-hmm. That's right, Keisha. Every bee has a proboscis. <laughs> and they're using them to drink the stuff we're stuck in. According to my research, this stuff is nectar. I'm the proboscis, Dorothy Ann. <laughs> I like a proboscis as much as the next guy, but what we need here is a proboscis to get us out of here. Hey, what should we do? What should we do? What should we do? Hey, I know. Let's get lots of bees to drink all the nectar around the bus. How? Send out invitations? Look! You can push Extraordinaire around anywhere you want! And when you do that, it gets redder, too. That's because more and more of it is getting squeezed into a smaller space. Only when you push it into a smaller and smaller space, uh, it pushes back harder and harder. It's like trying to squeeze down a spring. The harder you push, the more the spring pushes back. That's it. Maybe if we push all the extraordinaire from the fingers into the big part of the glove, it'll get even springier. And then if we jump on it, we can bounce somebody all the way up to the top of this jar. nice, you guys, but it's nothing like a coral reef. According to Ms. Frizzle, a reef is a shallow place in the ocean. Ms. Frizzle also said that a coral reef is built by tiny animals. With tiny tools? Carlos! I meant tiny underwater animals, Carlos. Well, according to my research, Coral reefs are alive. And gazillions of fish live there. So can we move the rest of the fish from the other tank to our coral reef now? On time. What do you mean? I'm usually on time. Exactly! And why are you on time? Because you've determined how long it takes you to get here. See? You are a math person! Actually, my mom drove me, so she's the one who determined how long it would take. Bye, Mom! <sighs> a 
combination lock. You need to remember the sequence of numbers in the correct order. That's math. My lock has letters. All I have to remember is Ellen, which is pretty easy because it's part of my name. Nice try. Aha! You're measuring! That's math again! I'm just eyeballing the space to get a sense of the size. I'm not even using a ruler. So, you're still measuring it with your eyes. You're just doing it inaccurately. I have a ruler. Want to borrow it? No! 